Hey y'all, it's TX Stampin' Sharon. It is time for Stampin' Live with Sharon. It is Thursday night, May the 13th, and I so, I get I do this every week. I'm chatting away and I'm watching the little clock. And then all of a sudden it says waiting for TX Stampin'. I'm like, whoops, my turn. <laughs> I am thrilled that you guys are here. I love jumping on a few minutes early and just chatting with you, seeing how you're doing. Um, some of you have moved, some of you've got, a, poor Vey has a bad back and I have been there and done that. And I surely feel your pain, my friend, um, because it is, it's awful. You just feel like you hurt from your head to your toes. So um, <clears throat> we, have, we have people from Holland, I think Brazil, um, just all over the world and that makes me so happy to have stamping friends all over the world. I hope that y'all enjoy tonight's live. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can do that below the video. Uh, just uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and then hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I go live or when I upload a video here on YouTube. So, um, okay, so I'm seeing people you guys are, and I love it when you chat amongst yourselves. If you want to chat with someone, um, if you'll type the at sign and then uh, start typing their name, you'll see it. And then you can uh, communicate directly with them. It'll, a, little, a little message will pop up. So, uh, <laughs> Deborah says that it's toasty in Phoenix. One month until I can escape to the Pacific Northwest. Well, um, Deborah, it's a good thing you're leaving Phoenix before July or actually June and July, so hot, so hot there. Um, Jane Strain's on here and she's from Sierra Vista, Arizona. She's my buddy. And I I went to Phoenix, Jane went to Phoenix lots of times too. So we do know that heat. <laughs> Sierra Vista was not that hot. It was, it was great compared to Phoenix. So um, Patricia says another pretty top. Yes, I went shopping for you guys. You just wait until you see the new shirts that I had made. Mm -hmm. Had them made. Mm -hmm. You're going to love them. I got the biggest kick out of it. <laughs> I will probably have one on Monday for Mystery Monday. Yeah, I'll try to remember to do that. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Hi, Janet. I'm glad you're here. So, a lot of you have been popping on. Um, hello, Kathy S. Hello, Susan. Um, she is a newcomer to our live. We go live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. unless I'm on vacation or something. But we've been doing it pretty consistently now since February, um, unless we have technical issues, which we had that one night. Um, but yeah, I love, I just feel like when we're live, we can do a little bit of chatting, get to know each other. You can get to know other uh, people in the, in the chat. If you're watching the replay, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that next time perhaps you will join us for um, the live. Um, a lot of the people come back week after week and like I said, get to know each other. You know, like we asked Mary, did you get, did you get moved? And um, of course she can't find a thing, but she got moved. So I understand all of that. Um, let's see, Jean Fitch says, we've had pretty hot weather here in the Northwest in July lately. Oh. Well, I heard that you all have not had as much rain. Now, that was my friend in Oregon, I guess. Uh, she hasn't had as much rain as what she's used to. So, you know, um, honeybee stamping, I think this is the first time I caught you live from the beginning. Usually you're late. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're here. I have a lot to share with you. And I hope I have everything out. I have gone through everything. I'm sure I have forgotten something, but because I'm in the studio, I can go grab it. So that's the beauty of it. Um, let's see. Angie says she loves being able to talk to each other. I know, it's so fun. Ah, Vera Lucia. I don't understand. Salvador, you're from Salvador? I hope that you can understand me. Um, oh, Einik is on here. Hello, Einik says that it is 2 a.m. in the Netherlands. Yikes, that's early. <laughs> um, it's been cold for us in Arkansas. Lila, are you in Arkansas? We've had some chilly weather. What the heck? It's May 13th. Um, yesterday, it was like 63. That's crazy. Come on, 
I've already had the top down on the convertible and driven around in nice sunny weather and it choom, went down. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, oh, Mary just wants to undo this, the craft room. Uh, I hear my stamps, ink, and paper calling me. Every move I've ever done, that's the room. That's, that's usually the first room that gets put up, organized. So, I understand. Marilyn says she loves my shirt again. Yes, I went to, I found Chico's. Never been really to Chico's. And so I got some pants that fit. What a shocker. That's always um, a fun thing. And some nice, bright, colorful shirts for you guys. So there you go. All right, I'm going to switch cameras and we're going to get started. Let's see. Whoops. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention. Hold on. One more thing, Michelle Batson is our is my helper. She will um, help answer any questions while I'm demonstrating. If there is something that she doesn't know, she will ask me and I will see my name pop up in red. I will try to look at the camera, I mean, at the laptop, but I get, <laughs> I wanna see what you guys are talking about. So um, I try to stay focused, get the project done, and then try to scroll up through before we're off the live to see if there's any questions that Michelle couldn't help you with. So, her name is Michelle Batson. If you have a question for her, type the at sign and then start typing Michelle and um, she will see your message. But she's awesome and she stays on top of it and keeps me in line. So there you go. Um, let's see, Susan. Oh, y'all are talking about mystery stamping, okay? Mystery stamping is every Monday here on YouTube at 4 p.m. I send out the first clue, which is gathering your supplies, your cardstock, your designer series paper, stamps, paper, ink. On Sunday at 3 p.m., I send it out via email. If you want to join my email list to get that, um, below the video, it should be there. Let's double check before we go talking. Yes, below the video, you will see how to uh, join my newsletter. If you need to contact me, that is down there as well. If you need to go shopping, that link is below the video too. So, okay, all right, I think we're done. Um, okay, so I'm gonna let Michelle handle it. So yeah, it's Michelle Batson if you have any questions. Whoops, wait a minute, what did I do? Um, come on. Okay, <laughs> I pushed a button. All right, let's switch cameras. Put my laptop up there. Um, oh, Samantha Keenan is here, yay! Whoops, that's not a good place for my laptop. I can see the shadows. Okay, there we go. Okay, of course, we are talking about Pansy patch. Um, I'm not really going to be talking about the whole suite per se. I'm going to be talking about designer series papers. Um, okay, that is bugging me. Put this over here. So the pansy patch stamp set and dies are so fun. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Um, preview. There we go. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Okay. So these cute little flowers, when I first got it myself, it's like, oh, all these pieces, what do I do? So we're gonna talk about the pieces and we're gonna talk about three ways that you can use either just the stamps, stamps and dies, dies and designer series paper. So um, it's super versatile and it's, and it's just a lot of fun to play with. All right, we're gonna open this up. I already have some of my stamps mounted. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stamping. And I want to, I'm gonna point. Okay, so this is a new feature with the new um, uh, photopolymer stamps. The uh, uh, stamps are actually printed on the insert. So I love that. Um, the only thing I don't like, and I'm just going to be honest, is I can't read the words like this. So it's like, hmm, what is that? And I and I flip it over to see if I can see through it, and I can't. So it's just a matter of me having to pick it up and go, oh, yeah, that's the one I want. Just a learning curve. Okay, so we're going to get our ink pads. Let's see. Put our ink pads. 
pads here. And I want to show you this, the, the pieces to make the pansy, okay? That's my first thing. I'm gonna pull out Highland Heather, and it's funny, all of my, none of my cards have these colors, but I feel like when you guys are looking at pansies, most of them we do see are purple um, with their cute little faces. So we have our yellow, we have our Highland Heather, that's the darker, and then I'm gonna show you how I do the leaves. Okay, so I'm getting this stamp, this stamp, this stamp, and this stamp, okay? These are the four stamps that I'm using to build my pansy. And this one, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink up, and you can do it two different ways. I'm using Highland Heather. There I go, sticking my hand in the in the um, ink pad. You can stamp it salt, you know, pure ink, or you can stamp it a little bit lighter and have a lighter color. So versatile. This stamp set. So many ways to use it. Um, and then I'm going to use um, Gorgeous Grape. And then with my head not getting in the camera. <laughs> Who was it that said that my laugh makes them smile? I'm so glad. So with the gorgeous, oh, look what I did. <laughs> That's too funny. Hold on, I used the wrong ink. <laughs> well, we knew it would happen. We just knew, we thought we had everything all set. Let's try that again. I was like, wait, what happened there? Okay, we're going to ink up. We're going to put, we're going to put um, Gorgeous Grape and, where's my other one? We're going to put Gorgeous Grape there. We're going to keep their, keep the stamps on their, on their stamp pad so we don't do that again. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try that again. So we have Highland Heather stamped off, and then we have Gorgeous Grape, and trying not to get my head in the camera, but if you do, y'all know what my hair looks like, so we have that, or we have a little bit lighter, okay, so just by stamping off, the two flowers look totally different, so pretty. By the way, this is the way the pansy goes, not this way, okay? It's like a little face with a hairdo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this one now, so it's this piece right here. I'm gonna set that off, and I'm going to use Highland Heather, and this is really gonna be hard because I can't get my head over it, but we'll see how I did. Ha. Huh. Not bad. Okay, and then we're gonna go full strength. Okay, so, so different. They're both so different. All right, then the last thing we need, where is our memento? Right here. And I, I lied, I have another stamp to, to use. I'm gonna use that one right there. This tiny little dot that I am praying I don't lose one day. I'm telling you, it is so tiny. Okay, so then now I'm using this one right here. And we're going to stamp in the middle. Put the lid on that before I stick my hand in that. And then we have that itty bitty tiny little, <laughs> and I'm just gonna use Daffodil Delight. Whoops, let's try it this way. And there you have it. Two totally different flowers. Use the same stamp pads, but just the difference of stamping off makes it look totally different. All right, what about our leaves? So the leaves, here, we're gonna move all of this over. 
the leaves have two layers. And so you've got your solid and then you've got your um, veins. You've got two sizes of leaves. I'm just gonna show one, but it's the same concept. Move all these stamps out of the way. And I took and uh, took a post-it note. It's not very sticky anymore, but I just stamped a pansy and then uh, die cut it, because I've got a die cut. Um, you can place this over this, and you wanna be able to see a little bit of your flower. Can y'all see that right there? See how you can see the purple? Okay, so since we stamped off on this flower, we're going to stamp off with the leaf and then we're going to go full strength. We're going to stamp off. We're going to move our post-it note a little bit so that I can see my purple. <clears throat> Super cute. See how it just butts up against that flower? We did the same thing here, but this time we're not gonna stamp off. I'm looking to see such a pretty pansy. Love pansies. Her pansies look a lot better than mine. <laughs> just takes practice. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I, the first thing was I was overwhelmed at all the pieces. I was like, wait, I don't understand. Whoops, wrong one. Let's try this one first. Um, we're going to stamp full strength and full strength again. Move our little post-it note just a little bit. Just the little bit of thickness of that post-it note helps this technique. Okay. What do y'all think? Pretty darn cute, huh? So you have already just different choices when you are using just the stamps. How did that zoom back out again? I don't know what's happening with my camera. All right, let's move all this over and I wanna show you a card. Okay, so just stamp the pansies. I did cut this one out with the dies, but you could just stamp pansies on your card layer. And I have a little stamped, uh, stamped on the inside. You could stamp another small pansy in there if you wanted to, but that's one card. How do y'all like this card? Pretty cute, huh? All right. Oh, uh, thanks, Bay. You think, I mean, um, <clears throat> who was it who said that they look real? Loretta did, thank you. I think we all recognize a purple pansy, but in my cards that I did, well, I did use purple on one. All right, let's talk about another option. Let's get the dies. So let's talk about the dies. And <clears throat> I cut just a piece of the designer series paper. And you can take and cut out the dies and make a really quick, fast card, okay? So it cuts it out, plus this little one will cut out the little pansy. So you can do the little pansies that I actually cut off of here. So you can cut out both sizes of the pansies that's on the designer series paper. Love it! So, let me show you. about this one? Just designer series paper. I did stamp the leaves, but I just put designer series paper. This card was quick, so fast. Again, stamped on the inside. So do you see a pattern with my, with my cards? Huh, let's make one. Oh, we are gonna do some stamping first. All right. Here's the card that you see on my preview, uh, my thumbnail for my video. 
So this is the card we're doing. I thought that I could get this flower on here, but I couldn't. So I was like, oh, I already cut it and everything. So it went on the inside. <laughs> so let's talk about the pieces. Well, no, hold on. I have something better. Um, since I have been offering a download with all the measurements on my blog. You guys are loving that. So again, the blog link is below the video. You have to give me, uh, let's see, what time is it? We should probably be done. And so the blog will go live about 15 minutes after I'm done with the live. So I have to go push some buttons. I have to tie this video to my blog. A few more, you know, behind the scenes things that I do. But I decided that I would make a little picture chart for you so that you would know what you need to make the card I'm making tonight, okay? So you're gonna use the die and you're gonna cut out, cut out uh, pale papaya, one of them. You're gonna use this little die, little moon looking thing. You're gonna cut out two of those. You're going to um, use this die to cut out the little pansy face. You're gonna use this little cute little die to cut out um, with Calypso Coral. Um, this one does three dots, but I've already used two of the dots, so there's only one dot for tonight's card. <laughs> this little uh, die, you're going to cut two of those, and then you have your leaves, okay? And then you'll have your little stem. You're going to cut that out of, let's see, what did I use? I used soft succulent. Um, and then you're going to cut a, white, a piece of white. I know that's hard to see on the camera, but that's white right there with that die, and then Calypso Coral with that die. So this chart, the picture is on my blog, but I went back in and I added it on here. So you will have which pieces to use. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. Um, and like I said, it will be on my blog. So before I forget, Michelle reminded me before we got started, and I did not talk about it at the beginning, but I'm going to do it right now. Um, we are doing the um, making cards and sending them to an organization called Cards for Kids. If you are interested, um, what we've decided, we started doing this on Mystery Stamping, Mystery Monday Stamping. If you're interested in making cards for kids, you are invited to join us. Um, you need to go to my blog. That piece is, oh, that is the wrong piece. You need to go to my blog and click the contact me button and say that you're interested in making cards to send to kids. We will, uh, one of the mystery stampers, Renee, has offered to have all the cards shipped to her I will email you the details once I get your contact me form. And you can make, we're all saying about 10 cards, but you can honestly make as many as you want. And we will send them in June. The cutoff to sign up is Monday, May 17th. Okay, so next Monday is the last day that we're gonna accept um, uh, people to sign up. We had to, we, that was the only thing we didn't talk about. We really needed to give it a cutoff, but it's cards for kids, kids who are in the hospital. Um, that This organization, we have, I have researched it. They also send cards to senior citizens. And you know, with COVID, so many nursing homes, so many people cannot have visitors. So it's a great idea and we're just thrilled to do it. So all right, look at me. I already got ink on the card. Hold on. Y'all know my trick, right? I use some uh, hand sanitizer to get that ink off of my fingers. I'm seeing that y'all liked my card. Thank you. I'm so glad. Are y'all talking about the pansy face? Uh, let's see. Okay. I think you guys are lacking my handout. I think that's what you're talking about. All right, I gotta flip this piece over. I don't even remember the measurements, but they're on that handout. Um, I'm going to stamp thank you with Memento up in the top of my smaller layer. Okay. And we're gonna put that away. 
And then we're going to assemble our card. And then we will assemble our pansy. Okay, let me get my adhesive going. Uh, I think I'm done with the stamping for right now. We're gonna move that. Um, Lila does cards of kindness. We talked about that organization too. Um, we just, you know, kids in the hospital really touched my heart. There are some guidelines. So like I said, if you join us, I will email you the guidelines. And um, I had a friend today who, no, that's another story. Never mind. <laughs> this friend helped me do like a, a like a PDF that you could like fill in the information and I was so impressed, but that was a different, that was a different project. So, all right, then I have my black and white layers here. And so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just adding all of my layers together to make a very striking card. I think, I loved it. Okay. Now, this is, this is called a book bind card because it looks like a, a book bind, okay? I, I will tell you this, I scored it at five and a half and at six and a half. So it would be, yeah, five and a half, six and a half. And then I kind of folded that like that. Um, I, I recommend that you use a strong adhesive. If you don't like the Seal Plus or don't have the Seal Plus, then I recommend tear and tape. Um, I don't know, liquid glue might work. You just need it to be a good, strong adhesive to keep that book binding closed, okay? So let's get our adhesive over here. And I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm gonna put two rows. We want a good, oh, I know what that other piece of whisper white or basic white was, it goes in the middle, <laughs> it goes inside. I was like, why do I have that? Um, Pamela, you took over a hundred to three different homes and made cards for caring as well. That's awesome. I love that. Margaret says, I'm interested in doing cards for children. I forgot what to do. Okay, Margaret, no worries. Um, below the video, there is a contact me, um, or no, yeah, contact me button um, on to go to my blog, and you're going to send me an email with that secure um, link and you will give me your uh, information and just say that you wanna do cards for kids and I will send you the information, okay? Um, Debbie says she loves the picture chart. That is going to help. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. All right, so now we're gonna add this layer. I'm so glad I don't have to remember measurements. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this card, I love this fold and um, the fact that I'm giving you the downloads now on my blog makes it very handy. Um, and I think you guys are really loving that. I started doing that, what, about a month ago maybe? And I think that it was a brilliant idea. <laughs> I changed the blade on my, do y'all see that? It's bugging me. See how my paper is kind of jagged? Um, I changed the blade on my trimmer, so I don't know why it's doing that, but it's bugging me. But that's how I fix that. There you go. You guys know me and my tips. Just fix that little jagged edge. All right. So this is a piece of the pansy paper, and I use the, I'm going to use the gingham side. So we're going to add this to our book bind right here. Okay, are we ready to put our pansy together? All right, I have all my pieces and I'm just gonna spread them out. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two and flip this over. I'm gonna get some liquid glue to add some liquid glue. Pull this down towards me a little bit. And we're gonna 
gonna put this one right there at the top, okay? Gosh, why is that? Hold on, let's see. Preview. Whoops. <sighs> ah, that's what I get for pushing buttons. Okay, I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to zoom in. You guys need to see these little pieces. There, y'all will forgive the black darkness that you saw if you're watching the replay. Um, I just want you to see these little pieces. So from, from uh, levels of time, this one does take more time than the other ones do, but I just loved it. I just loved it. All right, so on this one, I cut out both sizes of the leaves, and we're gonna do the same thing. <laughs> there goes the darkness, I'm seeing it on my screen. Oh, there's like a delay, but you guys, if you've, if you've been with me on Thursday nights, I, very rarely do I not screw up something, I don't know. But you know what? You guys are always super sweet and encouraging, and nobody ever says, Get her off the TV. Get her off of there. <laughs> and I appreciate that because, you know, it's hard to go live. It took me a long time to get the courage to do this, but I figured, you know what? At least if I can teach you something, even if it's don't do that, then, I, you know, it'll be worth it. All right, so now we're going to add, we're going to turn this piece over. We're going to add some glue. Whoops, get over there, Leaf. We're going to add some glue to this. And this goes like this. Whoops, come on. There we go. Okay, push all those pieces down, and I'm really good at doing this. Just put it underneath the silicone mat, push those pieces down. All right, let's build this part. This is our little uh, flower. Um, Uh-oh, where did it go? I lost a piece. Oh, there it is. Phew. Okay, so now we're going to, whoops. I've got glue on my fingers. We're gonna get a little bit more liquid glue. Huh. That was my dog, Stella. <laughs> Some of you have met Stella. She has debuted on one of my labs because she was licking the um, cabinets behind me and now she is uh, standing up against my leg. Nothing like distraction. All right. Then we're adding this little petal like this. And then we're going to put some liquid glue right here on the back of this for now. <laughs> oh, Stella, 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 Stella. And then we're going to get that leaf off my finger. And there you go. So cute. Okay, we've got all of our layering done. So now let's put the little pansy together. Move this over just a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> um, Lori says, I'm so glad you do live because you're so much fun and make beautiful projects. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that I can entertain you. Um, and then when there are boo-boos, it's more fun. You know, after last week's, I was like, surely I could never do that bad. I mean, it was a hot mess. Don't go back and watch it. No, I'm just kidding. It was, I was trying to, I was trying to teach y'all how to punch out leaves and I, the first leaf messed up and my mind went blank. I could not think of a thing to do. All right, let's build our pansy. So we're going to add, um, I'm actually going to add some adhesive to this and we're going to put a petal here and we get our other one whoops on the front it is a lot of pieces I saw that comment 
and it is a lot of pieces. So like I said, according to time, this does take more time to do it this way. But goodness gracious, it's so cute. All right, now we have this little face is what I call it. And we're gonna add some, eh, let's add some liquid glue. We'll put the face right here. And then where is my take your pick tool? I'm going to see if I can get some glue. right there okay and we're gonna flip it over yep we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna add some adhesive on the bottom on this part right here and we're gonna do our leaves sticky silicone fingers would help that would be amazing. Do they make such a thing? All right, let's find our dimensionals. And we're gonna put a lot on. So if you, you know, if you don't want to do the dies for what I'm doing, you don't forget, you can use these dies to um, cut out that designer series paper, yeah. And, you know, that reminds me, I haven't told y'all, but I have a very generous thank you program that I just started May 1st. Um, I give you a little shopping spree on me after you get 50 points. And if you're interested in that, you can find that information also on my blog. What would I do without my blog? You can click under um, specials and you will see what my promotion is. That's where I learned how to do my new form that I was talking about. <laughs> okay, let's add that cute little smiling face pansy right there. And we're going to add this on the inside, and then we're going to do some stamping. Where is my stamp? Hmm. Oh, I didn't get it out. It's the little things. And we'll get our black. We'll get a block. Good thing I'm right here in the studio. I can just grab things. Okay. Whoops. Let's try that again. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm just trying to read what y'all are saying because I hate missing out. <laughs> okay. We're going to add our little flower and we're gonna get some more liquid glue. Oh, uh, thank you, Vey. You're still with me. I figured you'd be, I figured you'd gone and lay down with your back. I'm glad you like my card. Thank you so much. We're gonna add some glue. And we're gonna put it right here. I just thought it was so cute. I was like, well, I gotta put it someplace. All right, now we're going to, hi Brenda from Houston, Texas. I'm in Kyle, Texas, south of Austin. All right, let's move that adhesive out of the way. And see if I can stamp this straight. The little things you do make such a big difference. Where's my lid? I nominate Miss Michelle for Miss Congeniality. <laughs> well, I don't know what that conversation's about, but you're right. Um, isn't that cute? My little book binding card. So we have three cards. Don't forget, all made differently. We stamped, let's put them in the screen, stamped, stamped and cut out, used the designer series paper, stamped, I have got glue on my hands. Then we cut out all the die pieces and we have three totally different cards that I think 
are stunning. It was super fun to play with these, to create these. Um, I'm always really big on fun folds, unique folds, things like that. So Angie says, great job, she will buy this. <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm glad that y'all liked my card. Um, everybody's saying so pretty, so pretty. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna pull this over here. Karen says she loves this card. I, I really appreciate that. Um, like I said, as far as fun folds, unique folds, I love those, but they're easy. You know, all I did was score it twice. Five and a half, six and a half. So um, using the sponge to dab the glue is genius. Prevents blobs of glue. Another great idea from Sharon. I'm sure I didn't come up with it, but it is huge on not making a mess and having glue ooze out. You know, no matter how little you use, you always put too much. So thank you guys. Oh, they're stunning. I like all three cards. I'll use them for my classes. <laughs> you know, I love to inspire you. Yes, I sell product, but I love to inspire y'all. And I love it when um, some of you may send me a card either in, in the mail and I put them up in my studio or you send me cards, uh, a picture of a card that you have made because I inspired you and that makes me happy. Can y'all see my sign up there? It says inspire. Oh, look at my beautiful flowers too that my hubby bought me. Um, Lainey says, I didn't want to have anything to do with this set. Now I'm on the fence. What can I do now, Lainey, to, come, to push you off the fence? Okay, because it's a fun set. It's a fun bundle. And don't forget to get the designer series paper because when you want quick pansy cards, that's your go-to. Um, you're so welcome. Hi, Annie Gilliam. Coming in late, but you like them all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks to Michelle. I, I don't see any things with my name popping up, Michelle. I think you must have handled everything. Um, I don't see, oh, where, here we go. Deadline to sign up is Monday the 17th. When do the cards need to be sent to Renee? Ha, I found a question. They need to be to Renee by June 10th, okay? So you have about three weeks, almost four weeks if you're making cards starting now um, to make 10 cards, no envelopes. Like, like I said, there's a list of rules. You don't have to do envelopes. Um, we're just doing um, uh, just the cards. They need to be bright and cheerful and fun. And there's a, there's a list of things that you can't say. So like I said, if you're interested in doing the uh, cards for kids, below the video, you can click the contact me button and send me your information. Um, it will ask you to fill out a little form and then I will send you the document that you need to read and follow the rules. So what else do we have going on? Oh my gosh, there's so much. Um, so we talked about the shopping spree on me. If you um, get 50 points and you can read about that on my blog, paper pumpkin. I have not talked about paper pumpkin during a live or, or I don't, I haven't talked about it at all really lately, but the May, from May 11th to June 10th, you can sign up for paper pumpkin on my website. Um, and it is, it says expressions in color. And if you know anything about the current Stampin' Up! catalog, the new Expressions in Ink uh, suite, where the ink looks like it's um, alcohol inks because that's how the paper was created. Um, there is a paper pumpkin. Whoops, let's see if we do it. Look at that box. That box is made the same way. So it's going to coordinate with that suite. Oh my gosh, yeah. The other thing that's going on, the rest of the news is the current starter kit promotion. You know, you guys, most of my team that joins with, has joined under me are happy discount shoppers. They don't do YouTube lives. They don't do videos. They don't do blogs. They don't sell. But in May, until May 31st, you can shop for up to $155, only pay $99, and you get free shipping. You pay sales tax, but what a deal, what a deal. 
Thank you all so much for joining me. You don't see the contact button. All right, hold on. Um, contact me. There's a little heart symbol. It's below this video. Do you see that? Um, Priscilla says she's looking forward to... Oh, thank you, Michelle. You gave her the link. Um, okay. Einig says, now you're jealous? Why are you jealous? <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Give me a few minutes to go do my thing on my blog, and then you can get that free download that is on there for you to have the picture of the little pansy face to uh, make my card. So happy stamping, y'all. Bye.